Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Windows Server 2019 training tutorial and this is number 14 video in this series and today in this video I'm going to show you how to install and configure WDS server on Windows Server uh, 2019. So WDS server is known as a Windows deployment server. So by using the Windows deployment server we can we can deploy multiple server through the network multiple operating system maybe uh, it can be a server desktop laptop anything through the windows um, uh, windows server which is known as a wds server and it's used network connectivity to deploy server so basically we can uh, we can have a wds server at our office and we can uh, deploy operating system image through the network so we are going to see how we can install and configure WDS and also we are going to deploy one operating system uh, uh, through the WDS to the client machine bare metal machine so let's get in so here is my demo environment which we are going to use in this demo so first machine which we have is our Win2K19 DC01 which having active active in DNS and DHCP role my domain name is victorinfosol.local and you can see here this is active directory dhcp and dns role running on this machine and this is having um, win2k19 dc01 ip address of this machine 192.168.0.201 so this is my dhcp server active directory and dns server and the second machine which we have is win2k16 wds which is going to be our WDS and Pixie Boot server. So, Pixie Boot means uh, this machine going to have our uh, bootable server, which is going to boot a network, uh, uh, bare metal machines through the network. So, um, this is our uh, WDS server basically, and we have one f uh, virtual machine, which uh, this machine can be a physical, virtual, or uh, anything with the network boot enable machine so uh, this machine having no operating system so this is my WDS temp machine which I am talking about so you can see if I go ahead control to Dell this machine uh, having no operating system so it's not booting up so this is the WDS temp machine and we are going to deploy operating system on this machine uh, once the WDS is installed and configured and ready to use so let's get step by step task to install and configure WDS so the first thing we need to configure IP address and rename the server and join in domain so I'm going to do this first so on a WDS server this is a bare machine I have just installed it I have not configured anything on this machine so I'm going to configure IP address and then join this machine in domain So I'm going to disable IPv6 and IPv4. I'm going to set the IP address 192.168.0.204, which is given here. Uh, 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 203 and then subnet mask. I'm going to give gateway for this machine and then prefer DNS, my primary DC and then uh, DNS to get uh, internet which is my gateway so this is good and now I'm ready to join this machine in domain so I'm going to join this machine in domain so win to k19 wds and my domain name I'm going to put vector info soul dot local and hit ok so it's going to ask credentials so I'm going to type my credential administrator and password for this account hit ok now welcome to the victim for sold dot local domain so this is good and restart this machine now so we are done with this step which is uh, first task and now we are good to go to the second step which is install windows deployment service WDS role from server manager so let's wait for this machine to boot up and come again and then we are able to do it so now you can see this machine in join in my domain so I'm going to move it in correct folder so here it is so this is uh, went in default so I'm going to move it in my correct OU which is here India under uh, under India servers 
so now I'm going to log into this machine through my administrator account administrator and going to password for this account so now we are ready to install WDS so before this I want to see what I have in my drive so you can see my computer having only one drive showing right now so I'm going to add one more drive here so I have to change this to Z drive which is my DVD drive I'm going to change it to Z and I have a one 200 gig on drive here which I'm going to a map here as a WDS folder so I'm going to call it like WDS so all the WDS related data I'm going to store in this D drive which is for WDS uh, thanks so this is good and now I'm good and I'm going to click on manage add role and features click next and this is role based installation so we need to select top one and then our server I'm going to select the Windows deployment services and it's allowed to uh, add the management tool for our Windows WDS deployment services so go ahead and you can see the description Windows deployment service provide simplified secure I means to rapid and remote deployment Windows operating system to the computer over the network so you can deploy operating system over the network to computers or maybe servers laptop desktop anything so click next and then leave the everything default and this is something about WDS information and here you can see we have two things here one first is a, a deployment server which is going to be a full functional deployment server which you can use to configure remotely so you can read these steps uh, things so uh, basically WDS have two two uh, independent role you can say first one is deployment server and second one is a transport server which is going to um, participate in WDS core infrastructure so click next and uh, what this is going to install this is going to install a remote management and WDS role both the role I'm going to install on this machine develop deployment server and transport server so click on install and this is going to take few seconds to get the installation done so WDS does not uh, installation does not require reboot but whenever you need to uninstall WDS you must have to reboot your server so you should know this before installing on and installing WDS so everything is looking good for now so you have to do some trick in DHCP server to identify whenever this machine boot ups it's going to find how this machine is going to communicate to the WDS server so it's uh, the bare metal machine must going to have one IP address um, which uh, that can be received from uh, DHCP server so you need to uh, um, specify in DHCP server the boot server name or boot server IP address and then you need to specify the boot server fi uh, a boot file so we are going to do it uh, so before uh, we can go ahead and see the installation succeeded so I'm going to close this now I'm going to configure first the uh, DHCP server scope option so I'm going on my DHCP server under the DHCP management tool and if you go here IPv4 we have here uh, under this scope I have a scope option so I'm going to configure here so the two options which we need to configure is scope 66 uh, which is going to be your boot server host name so I'm going to type here my server name which is win ping win to k19 wds so just verify it's coming so this is good and now I'm going to copy this name and paste it there so we are able to copy it and then you can see it's added now and now we have to add a 
boot file name which is here so this path is going to be a boot and x64 for 64 bit and then wds network boot protocol dot com file so this you need to uh, uh, define here so this is good and now DHCP configuration is done now we need to configure the WDS which is next option to configure uh, WDS and add install and boot image so I'm going to add here um, ISO file of my Windows Server 2019 so let's go and add it uh, so I'm going to mount the uh, installation media of Windows Server 2019 so here you can see I have mounted it and now I'm going to tools and Windows deployment services now we need to configure it so I'm going to click here and you can see deployment service is not configured so I'm going to configure it and then this is the option which you have to make sure what it's saying before you begin so I am good with all like uh, this is integrated with Active Directory you want to integrate uh, you have to have an active DHCP server which we have just configured and uh, IP address is defined DNS name resolution is working and we have NTFS par partition also to store image which is this drive D drive so all good click next and then I want to integrate with Active Directory or is standalone so I want to integrate with Active Directory so click next and then where you want to save the folder so I want to save in D drive remote installation so select the path and click next and to whom you want to uh, uh, respond so I'm going to respond to all client known and unknown which is going to be respond to all client which is uh, unknown also for my uh, this uh, WDA server so click next now it's copying the needed file for Windows deployment and now you can see the folder has been created and all the folder structure has been created for boot like x64 and you can see WDS uh, net, uh, npb file dot com file is also created which we have just defined in uh, here on DHCP so this is good and now it's asking to add image to the server so I'm going to add right now and it's going to ask you the DVD or ISO so I'm going to uh, give it my DVD drive so now click next and I'm going to call it like win 2k19 image and click next now it's identified one boot image and four installation image inside this uh, inside the Z drive so this is looking good click next now it's going to add the uh, uh, install and boot image all together on WDS server and then we are go good to go and deploy this uh, uh, operating system through the uh, uh, deploy client machine on by using WDS server so we are on final step now and you can see it's adding the image now install image to the our WDS server so it's going to take some time depending on the number of the image and size of the image which we are adding so now you can see uh, image successfully imported so we can close it now you can see this uh, stall image we have group for image here two for core and two for desktop experience and we have one boot image also here Microsoft Windows boot image so this is good now I'm going to hit control to Dell and we'll see if this machine is going to boot up so you can see it's looking for network and it's got the uh, WDS version client IP server IP and server name so this is good uh, so now we have to hit enter in correct time settings otherwise it's going to escape so I'm going to hit enter now now you can see it's connecting and it's downloading the 
file from here uh, our um, WDA server which is 203 this server 203 so this is good now you can see it started booting also so we have to wait for a few seconds here to get the start window and now you will see here welcome to deployment wizard which is going to come up so windows deployment service click next and now you have to authenticate with the domain name so I'm going to uh, put my administrator password here for the server which is allow you to connect to Win2K19 WDS server so click OK and now you will be able to see all the f all the image which was available there so I'm going to install a data center edition click next and you will be able to see the disk which is available in this machine and now it's going to install the operating system through the network and if you want you can go ahead and you can see the network utilization also on this machine so in performance networking you can see here what is the network utilization and to better view you can go here on WDS server and you can see what is the network performance so you can see it's sending the image now you can see the uh, send traffic which is uh, receiving uh, getting received by this machine which we are currently installing so it is you can see here getting files ready for installation so it's downloading all the files which is required to install a Windows Server 2019 data center edition so here I'm going to pause the recording once the installation is done, uh, done I'm going to resume and I will show you the next what we are going to receive post installation so pausing the recording for now now you can see the installation is completed click next I accept and I'm going to set the password here for this machine and hit control to Dell and you can see this machine is by default joined in my domain so if I go here we'll be able to see this machine is joined as administrator uh, 1 so I'm going to log into this machine with time for soul and I'm going to use the administrator and password for administrator account so this is all how we can install and configure WDS server and how we can deploy operating system through the network by using the WDS server uh, on, a, on a physical or virtual machine it, may, it can be a virtual machine or it can be a laptop, desktop or server anything so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post them in my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye